So where is the best place to get props? I could answer this question a thousand ways, but in this video, let's focus on the easiest, most sustainable and affordable ways to do it. Hi, it's Rose here again, your online buddy passionate about sharing food and product photography tips. Teaching is my true love, but I'm also on a mission to empower small businesses with eye-catching food photos that boost sales and online presence. Throughout my journey, I've collaborated with some amazing local brands. Now, going back to the best places to get props. First is from thrift shops and flea markets. Unearthing vintage treasures is a thrill, and thrift stores and flea markets are havens for unique finds. You might stumble upon charming vintage dishes, quaint utensils, and even quirky trinkets that tell a story in your photos. Vintage plates, utensils, and unique pieces with character can elevate your compositions without breaking the bank. For example, I got the teapot and teacups in this photo as well as the bread plates in this photo from the same thrift shop. I got the teapot and teacup set for only 180 pesos, which is equivalent to only around $3. Then I got these three purple bread plates for only 50 pesos, which is equivalent to less than a dollar. Amazing, right? The best thing is that most items from these places show signs of wear and tear, so they can add a bit of drama and story to your images. Next place is online. The online world offers a wide range of prop options. Check out online marketplaces like eBay, Amazon, and dedicated photography stores. You'll be amazed at the diverse selection just a few clicks away. For example, I got almost all my dual-sided waterproof backgrounds online. Websites like Etsy have unique items you won't find anywhere else. You can also follow and support small businesses who sell on Instagram and Facebook. For example, I got these beautiful wooden bowls and plates from an online seller on Facebook. I also got it for an affordable price because the owner is selling from home, so she doesn't need to pay rent and other expenses related to having a store in an actual shopping mall. Next is Nature's Bounty. Nature is a fantastic prop source. Think fresh herbs, vibrant flowers, and seasonal produce. These elements infuse your photos with a touch of organic charm. For example, adding a couple of fresh tarragon sprigs added to the story of this refreshing lemon tarragon cooler. Same thing with garnishing this creamy chicken dish with fresh parsley. A small and simple step that made it more inviting and mouth-watering. Next are craft stores. These creative havens are a treat for prop enthusiasts. From beautifully patterned napkins to uniquely designed plates, craft stores offer a wide range of items that can add an extra dash of style to your food scenes. For example, I got props for my Barbie-themed photo shoot here from a craft store. Looks fun, right? Last but not the least are local shops. Embrace your community spirit. touch of local artistry. To sum it up, places where you can get props are thrift stores and flea markets, online marketplaces, nature, craft stores, and local shops. This is probably the most exciting part of being a food photographer. Prop shopping. It's like turning your vision into reality with carefully chosen props and backgrounds. Think of it as a thrilling treasure hunt for the perfect plate or cutlery to make your scene shine. I hope you found this video insightful. And if you're hungry for more food and product photography, prop styling tips, and tricks, I have in-depth classes about this topic on Skillshare. You can access these classes and over 35,000 creative courses with a free trial using the link in the description. In my next videos, I'll be sharing more food and product photography tips. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for updates. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments. Your kind words make my day. And that's it for now. I hope to see you in my other videos. Bye!